Hello, today we're going to talk about lesson 16.6, uh, which is the quadratic formula. Now we're going to talk about what the quadratic formula is, and we're going to skip all of that uh, on top for the deriving the quadratic formula. So the formula for the uh, that you're going to use for the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So make sure you put that in your notes, and we're just going to be finding our a, b, and c and plugging that in. So solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So uh, basically your first step, if you look at example one, your first step is going to be to write it in standard form, which is your ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So your first thing that you have to do is find out what your a, b, and c are. So I like to put it off on the side. So our a is 2. Our b is a positive 3. And then our c is negative 5. Now you're going to plug that into the quadratic formula. So I'll go on another page and do that. Okay. So we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. So we said that our a is 2, our b is 3, and our c is negative 5. So we're going to plug this into our formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all that divided by... 2 times a. So all we're going to have to do is actually plug in our numbers for this. So our a is going to be 2. So everywhere we see an a, we're going to put in a 2. Our b is 3. Everywhere there's a b, you're going to plug in a 3. And then our c is negative 5. So we're going to do x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, and c, which is negative 5. All that divided by 2 times 2. So all we're really doing is just plugging in these numbers into the quadratic equation. So it's going to be x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, 9 minus uh, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times uh, 5, or negative 5 is going to be plus 40. All that divided by 2 times 2, which is 4. So this is going to be 9 plus 49, or 9 plus 40 is 49. So negative 3 plus square root of 49 divided by 4 negative 3 minus square root of 49 divided by 4. So we know what the square root of 49 is. It's obviously 7. So negative 3 plus 7 divided by 4, negative 3 minus 7 divided by 4. So negative 3 plus 7 is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative, uh, negative 4 divided by 4, or sorry, it's going to be a positive 4 divided by 4. So that equals 1. That's one of your answers. This one is negative 10 over 4, which is negative 2.5 or negative 5 over 2. So let's go back and make sure these are our correct answers. So the solutions are 1 and negative 5 over 2 or negative 2.5. So if you wanted to, you can follow, oh, sorry, you can follow the steps. Uh, right here where you identify ABC use quadratic form all those or you can go and look at what I did now this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult for letter B because this is not in the proper form so you actually have to turn it into the proper form so we'll do that so if we look here it's 2x equals x squared minus 4 and you want an equal 0 on either side. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So we're going to be left with 
x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. So now we're in the standard form, and we can solve. So the first step is going to be identify your a, b, and c. So a is 1, b is negative 2, and c equals negative 4. Now we're just going to plug those into the quadratic equation. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now we just have to do some plugging. Our b is negative 2, so it's going to be a negative, negative 2, which will end up being a positive 2, plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared, so negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, all that divided by 2 times 1. So now when we solve this, negative negative 2, so x equals 2 plus or minus, uh, 2 squared is 4, so this is going to simplify to a 4, and then negative 4 times negative 4 is 16, so this is going to be 4 plus 16. So plus or minus the square root of 20 divided by 2. Now a lot of you will think, hey look, I'm done, we're good just like this because uh, this is simplified, but just know that the square root of 20 can be simplified even further. So we did this, I believe it was last module. When you have, uh, so uh, the square root of 20, if there's a perfect square you can pull out of that, you can do that. So it's gonna be the square root of four times the square root of five is the same thing as 20. And you know that square root of 4 is a perfect square, so this is going to actually simplify to square root of 4 is 2, 2 times the square root of 5. That's what the square root of 20 equals, so that simplifies. So now you can see it's going to be x equals 2 plus or minus 2 times square root of 5 divided by 2. Now this is where you can see that uh, this now, this is a 2, that's a 2, and that's a 2. So we can actually simplify this. So if we divide them all by 2, it's going to simplify to x equals 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 1. And that is your answer totally simplified. So I'll post another video on solving number two and three for the quadratic equations for the year turn. So hopefully you guys can try those and then I'll show you the proper way on how to solve them and get the right answer. So on the next one, this is a little bit easier and all it is is finding the number of solutions. So it says recall that a quadratic equation can have one, two, or no real solutions. By evaluating the part of the quadratic formula under that radical sign, the b squared minus 4ac, which is called the discriminant, you can determine the number of solutions. So if you look at letter A there, x squared minus 4x plus c, all you have to do is just find your a, b, and c. So your a is 1, your b is negative 4, and your C is 3. So all we have to do is just plug this into our B squared minus 4AC. So B is negative 4, so negative 4 squared uh, minus 4 times 1 times uh, C was 3. So this is going to be 16 minus 12. And that equals 4. Now, this is what we're going to have to do is... Oops, sorry, wrong one. So I'll kind of show you the notes here. So for the discriminant, so for the uh, number of solutions, so use b squared minus 4ac. 
So the answer, so if it's greater than one, or so it's greater than zero, two solutions. So the last one was four, which is greater than zero, so there's two solutions. So if you have uh, b squared minus 4ac, uh, if it equals zero, that means one solution. And then if your uh, b squared minus 4ac is less than, that is no solutions. So we're gonna be finding out how many solutions there are. So we already did number letter A, and since 16 minus 12 is four, there's one, or actually two solutions. So let's go ahead and try letter B. So B says x squared plus two x plus one. Okay, so, we still zero. so you still have to find your A, B, and C. A is one, B is two, C is one. So we're gonna plug in our b squared minus four ac. So two squared minus four times one times one. Four minus four is zero. So since it's zero, we go back and look. Uh, since b squared minus four ac equals zero, the equation has one solution. Now let's take a look at C. So x squared minus 2x uh, plus 2 equals 0. So we have to find our a, b, and c. a is 1, b is negative 2, c is 2. So b squared minus 4ac. So negative 2 squared minus four times one times two. So four minus eight is negative four. Since negative four is less than zero, there are no, no solutions. And again, I will do the your turn problems. I'll work them all out so you can try them and then if you don't understand it, you can help you out with those. Okay, so now the last part is solving quadratic equations using different methods. So there's no one correct way to solve a quadratic equation. The choice of method usually depends on the form of the equation, the coefficient values, and personal preference. So if you took a, take a look at the first one, so example A, these are all the same exact things, but just different ways of solving them. So the first one, I would solve this by factoring. So what two numbers multiply to get to six, that add up to a seven. So I would say, hey, look, it's six and one. So x plus six, x plus one equals zero. So your answers are gonna be negative six and negative one when we factor. You can also solve this by completing the square, which is the same, you're gonna get the same exact answer. So no matter what you do, you get the same answer. So you have x squared plus 7x plus 6 equals 0. So we're going to have to move that 6 to the other side. So that's where you get your x squared plus 7x equals negative 6. Then complete the square by b squared, or b squared divided by 4a. Oh, sorry, or b divided by 2 squared. So it's going to be uh, your b is 7. So 7 divided by 2 squared which would be 49 over 4. And then when you take this, it's going to be x plus 7 over 2 squared equals 25 over 4. Take the square root of both sides. So x plus 7 over 2, or x plus 3 and a half equals 2 and a half, or x plus 2 and a, or 3 and a half equals negative 2 and a half. And that's where we get our x equals negative 1 or negative 6. And then you can do the same exact thing with the quadratic formula. I think with this problem, A or C, A is always the easiest one for me. Completing the square is a little more difficult, or quadratic formula is also easy. So with the quadratic formula, 
we have x squared. So a is 1, b is 7, c is 6. So it's going to be negative 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times 1 times 6, so minus 24 divided by 2 times a, which is 2. So negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 25 divided by 2. So square root of 25 is a perfect square. Negative 7 plus 5 divided by 2. Negative 7 minus 5 divided by 2. So negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Negative 12 over 2 is negative 6. So those are your two answers that you get there. So you can use any, any way that we've learned so far to solve these. I know this is kind of a lot right now, so give it a shot, see what you can come up with. I will go through some of the your turn problems, so I can help you out with those. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out with me, and have a great day.